All right. Kayak is in the water. Here I go. What's going on, fellow bashers? It has arrived. I've hyped this thing up and told you all about it. My Vibe Shearwater 125 has finally arrived. So we're gonna do the opening, go do a walk around, all the specs, and then we're gonna get out on the water, do an on the water review, and hopefully catch some fish on this thing, and just give you guys a full experience of this kayak all at once. So let's get to the opening right about now. <laughs> So we're gonna go over all the features of this kayak from bow to stern, starting right over here. We have a spot for your handle. We haven't attached that yet, but it's in a bag. Moving on down, we have these rod tip protectors where you have these little grooves that you can put your rods in. And then these things will definitely come in handy so you don't damage your stuff. You have a storage compartment here that is very, that will be coming in handy, putting tackle boxes or whatever under there. All right, so this is a really cool thing here. You got an empty storage here, and this is actually for a transducer mount. So they got the pre-drilled holes for that. You put your batteries in here, and then you can mount your depth finder right over here on these tracks that come on both sides. On the side of this are these pedals that control the rudder in the, at the stern. And I think it's really cool. You push the pedal down, and it'll turn your kayak for you. A really great feature about this kayak is you can upgrade it constantly. So right here, you can pull this out and put in a pedal drive system. And I didn't do that right now. I think that I'll eventually upgrade that later on. I need to get used to being on a kayak first before I kind of go for the big boy stuff. But it's really cool. And you just turn these, lock it in place, and you're good to go. All right, so this has also got a bunch of C-deck on it. That's gonna be great for standing. You also got some of that right over here on each side so you can stand on both sides, do some sight fishing. All right, moving on down, we got the seat. It's got its own track system. It's also got four levels of adjustment that you can go up, and it has a really nice storage compartment underneath that you can put more stuff under. This thing was built for storage. I haven't put the back of the chair on yet, but you can see what it's gonna look like. A cool addition to this is you can fold this down and buy an attachment that you can stand on top of the seat. It's like 90 bucks. I haven't bought that yet either, but I think that's something that I will buy eventually when I'm more adjusted to it. Got your cup holders on each side. Again, you got the grooves to put your rods down. You have these two compartments right here on the side of your seat that are for tackle boxes. They fit pretty well. I've seen the pictures. It looks like it'll hold the standard tackle box pretty well. You've got four rod holders behind you, so you can basically take, what? six rods with you fishing so that's pretty awesome got the bungee system back here for your crates your coolers all that stuff 
more track systems back here, and of course, you have your rudder. Um, this thing has been hyped up online for a long time. My buddy with Texas Fishing Force told me about it and said, I gotta get it. I got a bonus check and was like, boom, getting it. I'm really excited to get this thing on the water, so stay tuned and we're gonna hit the water with this thing and test it out, catch some fish. All right, guys, we are at the lake now. It is finally time to put this thing in the water. I have to admit, I'm a little nervous just because the last time I got in a kayak on this lake, this happened. Balance is key. And, and I go. Oh, over closer to water or to land. It is impossible just to sit in this thing. Yeah, I'm staying perfectly still, and this thing is just oh, it's hitting me over again. I just, I'm just trying to sit now. That really hurt. So yeah, that really sucked. I didn't have a great time, but there's a bunch of different factors now. First of all, this kayak is a much better quality, has a higher weight capacity of 475 pounds. The other thing is I've lost 70 pounds. So I am significantly smaller, stronger, and this thing's gonna have a lot better stability and balance. So let's hope that I don't fall in today. I know a lot of my friends are hoping I do. I don't think I'm going to. Before we get started on this though, if you haven't subscribed yet, bash that subscribe button. We're almost to a thousand subscribers. And once we hit that big plateau, that mark for me, I'm doing a massive giveaway, I'm giving away whopper ploppers, uh, chatterbait, crankbaits, a bunch of soft plastics. I'm giving away the biggest amount of swag I've ever given out ever. Follow me on Instagram at bash and bass TV and uh, let's get on the water now. So I am taking along a rod with me with a whopper flopper just so I can do some casts from this thing. All right, let's get it in the water. Like I said, I'm a little nervous. All right, kayak is in the water. Here I go. Immediately, I can tell the difference from my last kayak. It's still wobbly. I'm still getting used to this, but for a person who's never kayaked before ever, I'm just using the rudders right now. I'm, I'm actually not close enough to use the actual rudder. I'm just steering with the paddle. The thing stays pretty straight and true. Like it tracks, it tracks well. I don't think I'm brave enough to try and stand up on this one just because I, I'm going to fall in. I think, yeah, I, I'm not going to stand up. Like it's, it's hard enough for me to uh, paddle with this considering, again, I'm a novice. I've never been on a kayak before that hasn't tipped me over. So the fact that I can just sit on this thing and not worry about shifting and tipping is pretty cool. But yeah, like I'm moving right now and I'm not gonna fall in. Just standing up, I'm not graceful enough for that. So let me back up because I'm gonna start, I wanna take a few casts at the dock over here. I gotta say this chair is really comfortable. Like it's super comfortable. I'm supposed to have a thing that can hold my, my oar right here, I believe. I do this, it should, there, now my oar is being held in place, and I can cast. So, let's see how I do casting from a kayak. It 
is going to be a very different dynamic for me to fish from a kayak since I'm used to the bank. But like I'm throwing, I'm throwing my reel around and I'm not worried about any kind of tipping at all. Maybe when I get closer to the bank, I'll try standing up on this thing. Especially because I forgot to uh, swap out my microphone. So this, my camera's not waterproof right now. So I really, really, really don't want to fall in. Like, I'm right next to this fountain that I'm, I've, I've never been this close to the fountain before. This is actually really cool. Alright, so one thing I want to check out. Since I do have this box right here in front of me, I'm gonna have to scoot my chair closer, but I can get to this pretty easily and get all my other stuff out of it. So that's where I keep a lot of my stuff. It's watertight, I think. And if not, it's at least sealed to where it protects all my stuff. If I tip out, it's not gonna, everything's gonna fall, not fall in. Um, let's see here. Put my rod here like this. Yep, and then I can, let's see. Oh, put it right back here, I guess. And there's a clamp, place to clamp it. So, yeah, there's like a rod track right here. And you just, okay, just like that. So when I, so I can get some like easy, easy access to the rod. You just set it down right here next to you and it ain't going anywhere. So let me unbuckle my oar. We're gonna go back to the bank now. And I'm gonna swap out my camera housing. So I'm gonna say right now, so far this is a success. I have not fallen in. The last kayak I had definitely dumped me in like immediately. So uh, overall, this is a really comfortable kayak. I've, it's definitely big boy approved. How about that? You're a bigger guy like me. I'm 330 pounds, 325 pounds. It's definitely going to suit you just fine. Okay. So first ride assessment. The thing is easy to get in and out of. Very smooth. I'm going to scoop my chair up so I can use the rudder. And see how that works. And then we're going to go from there. Okay. So I actually decided to gear everything up. I got three rods in the boat. I got my crate with my backpack and my net, a couple bottles of water. I also took out my lure box and my scissors for the underseat compartment. We're geared up. We're ready to go. The thing turns really well, like surprisingly well. So. We're gonna head over to those far docks and throw a lure around. But for somebody who's never kayaked before, I gotta say I'm really, really pleased with this kayak so far. I mean, it's, this is an easy kayak to cast out of. Like, I'm not having any, any issues at all about balance or any of that. Like, it's, this is really stable. Now that we've fished this, we've gone on this cove, let's go, let's go exploring. Let's go check out what there is to see in this lake on the kayak now. My arms are going to get a workout today, guys. I think that pedal drive might actually be worth the investment. Once it gets going, this thing glides really well. It's just steering it is an issue for me. I'll give it the credit, this thing's got some speed. Once you get going, this thing is just cruising. Become a new thing for me. I'm gonna get more practice with this kayak. I'm gonna do a lot better with it. Learn how to steer, learn all the ins and outs of everything with it.
bring an anchor. Ooh, now I hit the wind. And even still, how choppy this water is, I don't feel anything. Like slight bumps, but this is this might as well be glass on this kayak. It feels great. Now it's just harder to the current I'm working against the current, so it's definitely harder to paddle. You can see how much slower I'm going now. Alright, there's one last thing I want to do on this kayak. And that's stand up and cast. We gotta test out stand up and cast scene. If it wasn't for my janky knee, it'd be a lot easier to stand up. Ugh. Okay, <sighs> sit back down. Now let's stand up. Even though this thing is stable, it feels very weird standing. This is going to take a lot of practice on my part. Yeah, we're just going to sit back down. Alright guys, so there you have it. There's my experience on the water with the sheer water 125 by vibe i did a closing on the water but there was a lot of landscaping and stuff going on and my camera picked up way too much noise and chatter so it wasn't really that great of quality so i decided to do it at home and it actually gave me some time to reflect on everything that i experienced for the first time especially as a novice beginner kayak uh angler i guess I will say that I love the fact that it was super stable. I had no issues getting in and out of it. Um, I will say that standing up was a challenge, but I have a couple of things going against me right now. One is I'm a bigger guy. Two, again, I'm a novice. And three, I have a hurt knee, so it was not the easiest experience. I will say that I think investing in the stand-up strap would be a great thing to do. I'm gonna be buying one for myself soon just so I can start standing up. Um, it is a little wobbly when you do stand up, but I think that it'll get better with ex with my experience. Um, the only other knock I have against this kayak is the tray underneath the seat. When you sit on it, especially since I'm a bigger guy, when you try to pull it out, it's a little stiff on the tracks. Now, maybe if you're a lighter person, it'll come out easier for you. I'm not sure. I'm not lighter yet. I'm getting there. See me in about a year, I'll be a much skinnier guy. Um, what else? The rudder system. I couldn't get the rudder down into the water to use it, but I need to watch some videos on how to do that, and I think it'll be better for next time. Overall, though, this was a great experience. I am addicted to being on a kayak. Now, I cannot wait for this weekend to get back out on the water on a kayak. If you have save up some money or if you have $1,300 laying around, definitely buy this kayak. I love it. I will be investing in the foot pedal system as soon as I get some more money saved up and I'm used to using this kayak with an oar first. But I definitely think that having a pedal drive system will be very beneficial for me. I look forward to modifying this thing, tricking it out, getting a depth finder. Eventually this thing is gonna be just top of the line, max out everything greatness for a kayak. So I needed to work my way up to that though. I need to get used to using an oar 
and just being on a kayak to begin with. There is another video coming soon with this uh, kayak the same day where I actually caught some fish on it. I, it was just too long to put into this video, so part two will be coming in about a week or so, maybe a little bit less. And caught a few fish, had, saw some great sights. It's a, definitely a great experience. It's much better than bank fishing in my opinion. So I'm going to try and do as much kayak fishing as I possibly can. That being said, um, I think that's about it for my review. I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you learned some stuff. I hope you guys are looking at getting a kayak and thinking about this one for, for sure because it is a great first kayak. If uh, you guys have not subscribed to me yet, bash that subscribe button. I'm closing in on 1,000 subscribers, like I said earlier. Once I hit 1,000, I'm doing a massive giveaway, so please help me get to that number. I'm at 939-ish right now as of this posting. Follow me on Instagram at bashandbasstv, and until next time, just keep bashing.